subscribe the channel if you want my videos in your mail Hi viewers, welcome back to Meet Business Ranish channel. So it was quite a long time uh, which I had interaction with you. So today we are going to talk about uh, unit of measures. So hope you guys aware what is unit of measure. So uh, the unit of measure is to measure the things, uh, you know, particular item. Uh, let's suppose uh, I have uh, some uh phones i have some you know uh apples or like that what is the sum so you want to say that sum as let's suppose 10 so you are saying 10 numbers uh let's suppose you are saying 10 kg so you are saying kg so this way you are measuring a particular item okay so uh, in oracle application uh, this is uh, you know important setup before going to define uh, an item in our uh, inventory so this unit of measure is one of the uh, normal attributes and uh, if you want to default a uh, unit of measure you need to give inv uh, default primary unit of measure uh, so that it will get default before going to define any unit of measure you need to define unit of measure class so what is unit of measure class it is grouping together the similar characteristics of unit of measure like uh, like weight uh, you will say kgs you can say tons you can say metric ton you can say quintals these are all similar uh, you know uh, uh, related to weight class so we will define a weight class and uh, whenever you define a class you need to define base unit of measure so the base unit of measure will be useful to have a conversion within the class uh, you know like uh, uh, the standard conversions right so the unit of measure is a non organic uh, organization specific even though when you open uh, you know unit of measure class or any unit of measure form for first time it will ask you to select the inventory organization but it is not organization specific uh there are uh, you know different uh, uh, places uh, we call unit of measure as different names so the first one is primary unit of measure this will be useful for uh, stocking of your item how much stock is lying in your warehouse if you want to know you will use a primary unit of measure so apart from that primary if business want to or, or any uh, company wants to track their item in a another unit of measure then you will call that as a secondary unit of measure uh, then you have base unit of measure that we have already discussed the fourth one is transaction unit of measure uh, whereas you are saying uh, uh, you are receiving one box of uh, you know uh, apple so how many apples were there in that box so so you, you are going to say i have 10 apples so but you are receiving one box of apple so the unit of measure primary unit of measure each whereas the transaction unit of measure is box so there should be unit of measure conversion between box and uh, you know each then uh, it will going to show you uh, your uh, total stock currently available in 10 when you check in your material transaction it will show your transaction unit of measure as box so now we are going to uh, define all these in Oracle application without further ado let's getting into the application so now I am moving to the unit of measures setup navigation is setup uh, inventory setup trans uh, unit of measures classes now I am first time defining the classes so I already selected the inventory organization that is why it is not asking so I am going to define a new class like uh, like so like uh, some I am giving some Honda business Honda uh, length some length class I am defining Honda length class 
so I am giving as a base unit of measure as meter HMT it's already there I think HMR uh, okay this is uh, my base unit of measure okay Honda meter like that uh, I can define Honda meter that uh, Honda meter okay now I am going to hit save it got saved now I am going to unit of measure what else I have so in meter so length you will say meter Honda kilometer HKM Honda kilometer then Honda after kilometer what else we have so let it be oh, I am defining only two here just save it now there should be a conversion between uh, meter and kilometer so I am going to conversion so it is already this is the standard you can see there are three different types of conversion we have standard intra class inter class so now the standard unit of measure we are defining so kilometer so how many meters will make uh, one so I am giving thousand meters equal to one kilometer ok save it right so likewise we can define other unit of measures whereas I have already defined like a weight class or some quantity class so now I am taking a business case here like uh, let's suppose I am receiving a phenolex uh, coil so I am considering this as a each so one each uh, will contains uh, let's suppose some 8 meter wire okay whereas I am receiving this phenolex uh, coils in box so each box contains 10 each so and uh, I am treating each as a primary unit of measure meter as a secondary unit of measure and box as transaction unit of measure so we will see this uh, test cycle in the uh, regular application now right so to define your item you need to navigate to items master item so i am giving here item as phenolex coil phenolex coil so I am going to select the purchasing template done see here it has been defaulted from uh, INV uh, default primary unit of measure profile option ok save it and uh, so I, I forgot to keep a uh, secondary so it is once it is saved you gone so I am going to create one more sorry for that phenolex coils Phenolex coils. So this I am going to primary and secondary. I'm going to purchase template. So if you want to give a primary, it should not enable uh, bomb allowed or you need to give a different uh, type here other than standard and model. Uh, you can give a other uh, you know uh, bomb type, otherwise it will throw error message. So I'm selecting primary and secondary. What is our secondary unit of measure is meter. So which we have just defined what is that h h km kilometer hmr is a meter so here how you want to default so if you say it is default there should be unit of measure conversion exist if you say fixed whatever you give at runtime it will take so mm. i'm selecting here default then i'm going to hit save i'm going to assign all right so now I have successfully created the item now again I need to do uh, see one more thing I would like to discuss here you can see the conversion when it is both when it is standard it will just take the standard conversion like uh, you will say one box uh, you will say 12 each it will consider only 12 each if you say item specific uh, it will check the item specific unit of measure conversion like uh, you know uh, if you 
say uh, one finula, one app one box of apple instead of 12 you will say 10 it will take 10 if you are not uh, you know uh, if it is not available it will take the standard if you say both it will consider both standard and item specific and it will display all the unit of measures in the elbow wherever you are doing the transaction keep that in mind uh, one of the project i had uh, issue with this so that is why i am explaining bit more here all right now going to unit of measures okay unit of measure classes now what is the my unit of measure class is each right i'm going to conversion this is intra class conversion first i am doing okay so now uh, i'm going to say uh, one box so it is a c the standard conversion is 36 that is why it is showing 36 but for this item i am missing only 10 each okay now you are going to do the inter class for that what is my uh, weight class honda length going to conversion inter class conversion finolex cables so here how much length you are saying some 8 meters so so 8 meters how you will going to calculate because you are going to calculate in a length here so so 1 divided by let's suppose 8 meter right so 1 0 0.125 point 0.125 so point 0.125 each equal to uh, 1 length right so let's suppose 1 each equal to 8 meter it will be like that so i am going to save this transaction all right now we'll do a transaction for this particular item so going to transaction transaction miscellaneous transaction miscellaneous receipt click on transaction line put your item here select the sub inventory now the important thing here comes in picture so here uh, instead of selecting primary unit of measure i am going to select a transaction unit of measure which is box so how much i am receiving i am receiving 10 boxes okay 10 boxes contains uh, how many uh, uh, 10 each box contains 8 meters sorry each box contains how much we have given um, how much i have given of what okay we'll see so you can see the secondary unit of measure has been defaulted yeah so i have given probably uh, 10 so one box contains 10 each so that is why uh, 100 100 into 8 equal to 800 you can see that here itself next you need to give a account so i have account for common stock i'm going to select that one combinations okay hit save now we will check the on hand quantity for this item on hand come availability on hand quantity put your item here and select the detail click on find so click on availability yes you can see we have received 10 cotton sorry 10 box each box contains 10 each so 10 into 10 100 is a total quantity primary stocking unit or stocking quantity so then we have secondary you can see it's in meter so 1 meter equal to 1 each equal to 8 meter so 100 each equal to 800 meter so you want to know this transaction you can go to the transaction material transaction and click on give your item and click on find right you can go this way it will give a clear picture see this is your transaction quantity okay transaction quantity is 10 what is transaction unit of measure box what is primary quantity 100 what is the primary unit of measure each and secondary quantity is 800 
HMR is the second unit of it. So hope you guys understood. So that the terminology here you can see primary unit of measure, transaction unit of measure and secondary unit of measure. The other unit of measure is base unit of measure. Right? Then you have seen the conversion that is standard conversion, interconversion, intra-class conversion and inter-class inter conversion. Right? We have seen the uh, conversion like a standard conversion, item specific and both. So how it got defaulted? It got defaulted from system administrator. The profile option is This is very very important in case when you are doing a uh, conversions like you know when you are loading your item master uh, if you want to define your item master you should have this uh, unit of measure defined otherwise it won't work okay i have given wrongly i and b default unit of measure yes so i have given this one so that is why it is defaulting there okay mm -hmm. and the other thing is this is a normal attributes we have two types of attributes status and normal so this is a normal attribute so it will tell the behavior of the item so what the item to be going to store in our warehouse item attribute control save okay and press control f11 you will see here primary unit of measure master level this is normal attribute these are status attributes so hope you guys understand and uh, please share the video subscribe the channel and let me know your comments on this video and uh, thank you thank you for watching this video